There'll be a reunion this morning on the Jersey Shore. President Obama and New Jersey Governor Chris Christie will meet once again at the site of a disaster. They're going to look at the rebuilding effort seven months after Sandy's destruction. It comes as the president tries to rebuild confidence after a string of scandals. Major Garrett is at the White House. Major, good morning. Well, good morning, Nora and Charlie. President Obama is eager to look at federally financed repairs on the New Jersey shore. To his mind, a welcome contrast to IRS bungling and Justice Department snooping. Both of those items are the subject of wide-ranging investigations. Mr. Obama needs Republican Governor Chris Christie's endorsement. Whether Christie needs the same, well, that's an open political question. Fresh from a tour of tornado damage in Oklahoma, President Obama wants the country to see federal dollars at work. There are few better places than reopened tourist haunts on the New Jersey shore. Things are not as they were, but billions of aid, the Garden State will receive upwards of $25 billion overall, has the shore economy on the mend, and Republican Governor Chris Christie just as welcoming as he was after the storm struck. Today's trip could also inject some life into Mr. Obama's scandal-starved push for Beltway bipartisanship. That's what the president gets. Thank you very much. Christie, who is running for re-election on a platform of results, may reap some short-term statewide gains, but suffer long-term national headaches. Spending cut. Christie re-election campaign ad plays to his get things done mystique. Working with Democrats and Republicans, believing that as long as you stick to your principles, compromise isn't a dirty word. But Christie is also looking to a 2016 White House campaign, and some Republicans recoiled at his enthusiasm for Mr. Obama in the home stretch of the 2012 campaign. Christie's later chumminess with the First Lady only deepened GOP suspicion. This backstory makes any new Obama Christie photo op risky. I endorsed Mitt Romney 13 months ago because I thought he was the best guy for the job, and on Tuesday I'm voting for Mitt Romney because I think he's the best guy for the job. But it doesn't mean that I can't turn to the President of the United States of America and say to him, thank you, sir, for providing good leadership in this crisis and for helping the people of New Jersey. The reality is Christie will have to sharpen his criticism of the president to win over those skeptical Republicans. He can probably wait until after Mr. Obama's New Jersey victory lapse, but not much longer.